Hi folks, I'm Brian and I hope you're feeling creative. Well, I've bit the bullet and I have purchased Ban in a Box 2025. So we just today we're going to look at some really basic things. We're going to start off this episode will be about um, VST plugins and the new upgrade to Ban in a Box which allows you to uh, use VST3 plugins. For those of you that are not really familiar with um, what a plugin is, uh, VST stands for Virtual Studio Technology. It, basically, it can be instrument sounds or it can be things like reverbs and EQs, all kinds of sonic tools that you can use uh, in your sound. I started by um, typing into YouTube free VST3 plugins. Let's uh, look, it's just, it goes on and on forever. There's any amount of uh, tools out there and sounds that you can download for free. Pages and pages of them, in fact. So I actually had a bit of a look around because I know that what I want is a uh, pro-level uh, EQ and a, a nice simple reverb to give me an alternative to the reverbs that are already in Band in a Box. I came to this video um, and was very impressed with this EQ. I'll just play a little bit of this. It's from Pale Blue Dot Studios. What I love about Ozone Equalizer is that it has a familiar interface. You're greeted with a spectrum analyzer and all you have to do to get started is click anywhere on the interface and you get a grab and go EQ node. So that's the sort of equalizer that I'm very interested in. Um, so I actually went ahead, um, uh, I downloaded uh, Native Instruments, which is a sort of a platform that you can uh, house a lot of your VST plugins on. And I went ahead and downloaded the Ozone 11 EQ on that. So uh, let's have a look at Native Instruments. So I downloaded it here onto Native Instruments. It, it can be a bit daunting if you're not familiar with the process of downloading uh, VSTs. Um, sometimes you need to download it into uh, via Native uh, Instruments or sometimes via the free contact platform. And sometimes that you just download it straight to your downloads and install it where it belongs yourself. Uh, now the pathway, take note of this, I may actually write this in the description of this video uh, you go to this pc c drive program files common files vsts and then you pop it in there and bang you can use it in all your doors and you can use it even now in band in a box so let's go and have a look at band in a box i've chosen one of the new styles that, um, there's 202 brand new styles in Band in a Box. This is a blues style and I'll, uh, I chose this one just for simplicity. I've, I've typed in a basic simple blues here. Let's have a quick listen. I've muted the drums. And you'll hear that slide guitar in there. Alright, so I'm going to solo that slide guitar, and usually I'd be in the mixer section here. Um, to utilize the plugins that I have downloaded, let's um, come to plugins. Uh, we'll click on where it says none, and I'm going to choose a VST3 plugin. And that presents me with um, some of the plugins that I've recently downloaded. Okay, I'm going to uh, grab that Ozone 11 equalizer. I'll just double click on it and there she is. I can um, change that to any size that I want to. But now that we've got that guitar soloed, if I grab it by the middle, it gives me a bell curve. There's all kinds of different things you can do with this EQ. Grab it at the end. And this is my highs. Okay, 
I'm happy enough with that at the moment. So let's move on to our next plugin. And I'm going to take a reverb. Ooh, okay. I chose this reverb because it's such a simple interface. Okay. Now if I unmute it. Let's go from the beginning again. Probably overdone it a little bit with that reverb. There you go. So that gives me a really great alternative to the um, standard reverb that is um, in the mixer for um, Band in a Box. Now, Band in a Box does have other plugins. Um, so if I uh, let's go to Guitar 2 here, for example, if I choose the VST2, um, these plugins uh, come with Band in a Box. And <clears throat> there's a quite a list there to choose from when it comes to EQ. So if you don't have Band in a Box 2025, you can still use all these VST plugins. Uh, let's um, take one, for example, the five band EQ, and it gives me this uh, little interface here that we can utilize for that guitar. So, um, which one did I put that one on here? Yes, Guitar 2. So let's solo that for a second and start from the beginning. Just go to extremes for a minute. So you can see that it is actually working just fine. So when it comes to adjusting your sounds via uh, band in a box and utilizing plugins it really does give you like heaps of options so that as I said before there's any amount of plugins that you can get for free um, that you can download VST2 and and VST3 but the real upgrade here is being able to use the more efficient complex um, VST3 plugins they're much more much more efficient using um, heaps less of your CPU because they only engage when that sound, when the sound is engaged. So in between uh, when the instrument isn't playing, then it's using zero of your CPU. Whereas VST2s, actually once you set, they're on all the time. So, okay, so that's, it's a really great um, new feature in Band in a Box 2025. I will continue to bring you more of the new features in Band in a Box 2025 as time goes on. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope that it encourages you to upgrade. The way that I did it was um, I upgraded from 2024 to 2025. I'm not a rich person so I went via PayPal uh, where they have a pay in four option so that made it much more affordable and uh, I can start using it immediately. Okay uh, I think that's about it for today. A boring little video really but something that's really important the ability to use VST3 plugins in Band in a Box 2025. If this has been useful to you, please consider subscribing and hit the like button below. Thanks for watching and bye for now.